Hi there! Welcome to Circuits from the Lab. I'm Zuad Mar from the Systems Development Group. Today, we'll be looking at a new reference design, the EVAL CN0552-PMDZ, a 24-bit capacitance digital converter. I'll be showing you how it works with the EVAL EDI Cup 3029 development board. For the setup, you need a few things the ZN0552 P1 board. A day cup, 3029 development board, micro USB to USB cable which come inside the A day cup, 3029 box, two, two picofarad ceramic capacitors, and a PC or laptop with the USB port. To begin the setup, place a two picofarad capacitor between the excitation A and CN1 plus pins on the P1 board. We can call this the first channel. And place the other two picofarad capacitor between excitation B and CN2 plus pins on the P1 board. We can call this the second channel. Now, plug in the ZN0552 board in the EDA cup 3029 via port P9. Make sure that S2 and S5 is in USB and USB wall configuration respectively. Next, plug in the USB cable from the PC to the EDA cup 3029 via port P10. The physical setup should look like this. Now, we need to load the ZN0552 software onto the EVAL EDA Cup 3029. You will need to first download the hex file from the link shown, which will also be available in the video description. Then simply drag and drop this hex file onto the uplink drive. This will program your EDA Cup 3029. Don't forget to hit the reset button. Now that we are done setting up the hardware, we are now ready to view the ZN0552 measurements. There are two approaches I want to show you, so let's get started. First method of viewing the device measurements is to use the IAO oscilloscope application. IAO oscilloscope is a simple GUI for interfacing with IAO devices, such as our ZN0552. This is useful for board bring up, basic analysis, and debugging as you are writing your own application software. First, you need to download and install the application. You can access it in the link provided in the description. And simply select the operating system you are using. Upon successful installation, open IO Oscilloscope. In the OOC.exe window, select Serial Context, select the comfort number of your ZN0552, and set the board weight to 1,200. Do note that the comfort of your ZN0552 may be different. Then press the Refresh button to display the available I.O. devices. Once ZN0552 appears, press Connect. By using the DMM tab, you can get real-time measurements of the capacitance voltage, temperature channels of the ZN0552. For instance, if you want to view the capacitance reading on the first channel, you can simply click on the capacitance 0 and the reading from this channel will be displayed. Also, if you want to see the capacitance reading on our second channel, you can simply click the capacitance 1 and the readings from this channel will be displayed. Both channels have a default unit of measurement of picofarad. As you can see, the readings from both capacitance 0 and capacitance 1's channels are around 2 picofarad, which is the value of the bulk capacitors we place at the P mod channels. To learn more about the capacitance value and input range supported by the ZN0552, please read the ZN0552 circuit note, which is provided in the description below. Another method of viewing the ZN0552 P mod readings is by using PyDIIO. PyDIIO is an easy to use Python abstraction layer for IO device drivers. You can install it on your Linux, Windows, or Mac by following the instructions found on the URL in the description below. But before you can use PyDIIO and run the example CNC Firefly to Python script, you need to download and install the Python on your machine. Now, with Python and PyDIIO installed on your computer, we are now ready to view the measurements for my ZN0552 PMOD board. 
Take note of the comport of your device and navigate to the directory where you install the PyDAI I.O. In the examples folder, open ad7746.py with your favorite text editor. Look for the line containing the URI. Change the serial URI based on the comport of your device. Save it. Next, open the command prompt and navigate to the same directory containing PyDAI I.O and run the ad7746.py script in examples folder using this command. It will display the zn 0552 p mode board measurements. This is also a great starting point for writing your own Python script using the zn 0552 in your application. That's it! I hope this demo helps you in setting up and bringing up your zn 0552 For more information, Please visit analog.com slash cn0552. Thank you for watching and see you next time.